As a scrawny six foot kid living in Tennessee who grew up playing baseball in China, my parents brought our family over to the States in order for me to pursue a better education. And although academics are extremely important, in my freshman year, I developed a love for football. I tried out and made the high school team, spending my first three years playing as a backup QB, never getting a single snap in a game. My Asian parents were getting frustrated. All of their friends and sons were 4.0s and they wanted me to pick up the violin rather than the football. However, as our starting QB graduated, it was my time to step in. It's my senior year and I was ready to start my first ever game in high school with hopes of being able to get a scholarship from big schools to save my family money. Our high school debut was against McKenzie High as on third and 15 I try a deep bomb to my teammate but clearly the arm strength isn't there as the ball is terribly underthrown. But on second and goal I hit my teammate for the touchdown on the angle route for my first career high school touchdown. That definitely settled the nerves for my first ever football game and I started to use my mobility to make plays. Generating extra time for my receivers to get open downfield as we catch this DB sleeping for another touchdown. Second and seven here, I shake off the sack, start rolling out to my right, looking to make another highlight play down the field, but the ball is once again underthrown and the DB comes up with the interception. But we end the game with a win against McKenzie, our first career high school win. I threw for four touchdowns and ran for one. I definitely need to control my turnovers, but I'm a QB who loves to give my receivers chances down the field. And just after the first game, we already started garnering some interest from schools here. As South Alabama, Old Dominion, and Georgia State have shown interest in me. This definitely gave me a lot of confidence as coach calls an option run. I pitch it out to my boy Howell who takes it to the house. He reminds me of CMC the way he's doing it all. First and 10, I'm going through my progressions and I hit my number one receiver Nguyen who's Vietnamese. He ran a nasty slant route there. Tian Nguyen is the name ladies and gentlemen as on second and inches I take a deep shot to Nguyen for the 55 yard touchdown from pre-cal to the football field. The Asian chemistry is real. We blow our first two opponents on the schedule as we face our toughest opponent yet. La Verne High School. They're undefeated on first and 10. I throw a nice lob for my teammate adding a little touch on the throw and I close out the drive with an absolute bullet to my tight end at the corner of the end zone. However, on the next drive, I throw a terrible interception. I didn't see the linebacker underneath, which ended up costing my team as Laverne scores a touchdown on the very next play. We're down seven and as my confidence in my arm is a little low right now, I decide to take off and use my legs and my speed for a big 33 yard game. First and 10, I drop back, stand tall in the pocket, take a huge hit from that fat ass, but I rope it on the money to my boy Nguyen who's definitely becoming my favorite target. Tied up at 14, two minute drill. I take off again for a huge run. I refuse to go out of bounds. That's just not in my name. Fast forward to the fourth. We're up by seven and I take a terrible safety there. That's just lack of game awareness. I need to just get the ball out fast there and take the short yardage. But our defense comes up big and gives us the ball back. I tried to take off here with my fat fullback who definitely gambled on this game. Acts like a linebacker and actually causes me to fumble the ball. I have no idea what he is doing. I just start spazzing out. But we end the game with another win three wins in a row and it's my first game rushing for over a hundred yards four schools like james madison and western kentucky started showing me interest which led me to think that playing as a dual threat qb and using my legs more could benefit me more as my arm just isn't there yet game four in paris we're in Paris. Four games in, I already feel my arm is developing with just experience as we throw the best throw of our season on this deep ball for TN. Fried rice to fa, 63 yard tough. We throw for 539 yards and four touchdowns, which moves us up to a two star QB. I get offered my first four scholarships from football, which is just insane to me as I've only played four high school games. Memphis, South Alabama, Georgia State, and Western Kentucky all sent me an offer. So I ran home to my mom to show her what football could do for the family, and she ripped up all four because it wasn't Harvard or Stanford. But still, I was incredibly excited to hear from coaches as more schools are starting to take notice of me. Before game five against Athens, there were some rumors that power five scouts were gonna be at the game as Athens is 4-0 and they have some players looking to go D1. So I knew I had to ball to my pants full. Third and 10, I take a deep shot to who else? Newly. Who comes up with a ridiculous catch over that poor DB. Then I wrap the drive up with a touchdown to my boy Howell. Athens wasn't planning to go nowhere though as they score 13 unanswered points to take the lead. This was my first time playing from behind and of course it's the game that scouts were watching. It's my first time ever running a two minute drill. I've only done this in practice so I was really nervous. Third and eight, coach calls a screen from my boy Howell. I dump it off and he only managed to get six yards. So the game all comes down to this one play with the scouts in attendance. Will I crumble under the pressure? 
And the answer is no, as I tuck the ball in and I take it all the way for the game winning touchdown. And we take down undefeated Athens to remain perfect at 5-0. and And sure enough, after the game, we receive interest from Louisville. I'm a big fan of Louisville as I grew up idolizing Lamar Jackson and I try to model my game after his. I really wanted the Louisville offer, so I started running like an absolute maniac. I'm talking buffoon style. Truck with no brakes going downhill. Chinese Derrick Henry. And I came out with a career game. 387 yards passing, 20 carries for 145 rushing yards, and 6 touchdowns. And sure enough, Louisville offered me a scholarship. But that wasn't all. Tennessee, the best football school in my state, offered me a scholarship as well. This was mind-blowing to me as the Vols were the team that I supported ever since my family moved here. Everyone at my school is a Vols fan. I also started getting interest from SEC schools like South Carolina, Mizzou, and Kentucky. Playing football at the next level seem more and more plausible as we move on against Harrison High. I drop back on second and goal and I lob a sweet dime to the back corner of the end zone to my tight end. That's a college level throw right there. Scouts are frothing at their mouths over throws like that. I continue to show the pocket awareness, stepping up, standing up tall, trusting in my tackles as I hit New Yen for a big gain over the middle. Late in the third, I show off the burners, made the linemen eat grass, and took it all the way for a house call. We dominate with 354 passing yards and five total touchdowns and we have moved up to a four-star prospect and would you look at that the Stanford Cardinals have offered me a scholarship my mom is filled with joy she doesn't have to pay tuition while she can brag about her son being at Stanford now she finally made me dinner for the first time in three months because my grades were down but South Carolina the game Cox also offered me a scholarship which is the first SEC school other than Tennessee to offer and speaking of the SEC three SEC schools are starting to show interest including Nick Saban and the Alabama Crimson Tide. When I heard Nick Saban was going to be at my high school game, I knew I had to put on a show. But I came out extremely jittery and nervous, and I throw a terrible interception. After the pick, though, I turned on my game and started firing with a ball layered over the linebackers right in my teammates' hands for the touchdown. Next trip, my receiver runs a nasty route, and I hit him for a beautiful Tony Toe Tap touchdown in the end zone. Bristol shows a bust in coverage as I hit the wide open receiver for my third touchdown of the game, and I round it off to my boy TN for four passing touchdowns on the Day. And after the game, Mr. Saban and the Crimson Tide officially offered me a scholarship. You heard that right. Nick Saban wants a Chinese QB to lead his program. This is a barrier-breaking moment in human history, ladies and gentlemen. But that wasn't all. OU, Ohio State, and Notre Dame were starting to show interest as well. My mom tells me instantly to pick up Notre Dame as they are an academic school and my cousin Tyler Buckner is the current starting QB for them. But we can't have a QB battle against family. And we also need more starting Asian QBs in college football. So I decided to respond to Ohio State who have produced so many dual threat QBs in the past. Now that I've received an offer from Bama and Tennessee, the girls at school were finally paying attention to your boy and started coming out to the game. First and 10 in the red zone, I overthrow a wide open touchdown with Ohio State scouts in the stands and even the girls too man i still have some inconsistencies in my game as then i'm able to do something like this where i absolutely drop it in my teammates bucket and then the very next play i'll fumble the ball away like i just have too many mental errors first and 10 i throw a hitch route to my boy union expecting just a first down but he breaks a tackle and takes it all the way i'd be surprised if the scouts aren't looking at him he's been playing like a five-star receiver on third of three i'm scrambling to my left buying time for my receivers and i complete an insane throw rolling to my left, throwing back to my right. By far the craziest pass I've ever thrown in my life. And after the game, Ryan Day comes down from the stands and verbally offers me a full ride right then and there on the spot. I also became a five-star QB and I'm ranked 96th in the country. This was a really emotional moment for me personally, as I've always wondered whether or not I could do something I love rather than what my parents wanted. We also started receiving interest from more schools as we enter my final regular season game as a high school football player. Friday night lights, senior night. All of my homeboys came to watch me ball. But on the very first play of the game, I get rocked for a fumble, which Franklin turns into six. I'm not gonna lie, I was pissed off after this turnover and decided to take it out on Franklin's defense. Scoring not one, not two, not three, not four, not five but six touchdowns on their defense, concluding my senior season with 413 passing yards and 76 rushing yards. We've completed some of our goals early, becoming a five-star QB, ranked 67th in the country, getting offered from both my dream schools, my mom's dream schools, and power five schools. But can we end our senior season with a state championship? And which college will I ultimately commit to for the next stage of my career?
Leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you are new, I will be giving away a million dollars to every person who clicks the subscribe button. So, um, if you subscribe, you're pretty much Jeff Bezos.